Hey everybody, I was going to walk through a real quick tutorial on um, a type of tile, or I guess a style, that I've done several times now, and uh, done it with different combination, color combinations and stuff, uh, but I really like the look of it. It's a little bit different. Um, today, I'm using the, uh, I'm using Butterscotch and Stream as the two colors, because they, uh, they go together very nicely. Um, so... I'm going to start here by just uh, putting some dots on my uh, felt here, felt applicator, and I'm just going to go in and basically just going to get a, a solid, pretty solid uh, cover, or sorry, color in the background. want to cover this up and I like using the applicator because as I mentioned in my other videos uh, you know you get the tighter texture and everything and uh, you're also not dumping you know a quarter of the bottle of ink on your one tile <laughs> just to get some color in there so there we go we've got some some yellow and uh, as you go back over the uh, the softer areas, you can get more of the little tighter, small patterns, which I've shown before. And uh, I don't know how well that's coming out, but that's what we got. And then for this style of tile, I uh, I'll use that technique that I mentioned in my other video as well about just putting some ink along this edge of the felt and uh, then we'll just go through and just touch it and blow some air just to help it dry a little faster And if you use uh, the right color combinations, you can get some really cool effects with this. It's very simple to do, and it's easy to repeat. If, uh, if you're the kind of person who goes to um, sell art at flea markets and stuff like that, and you find that some things sell really fast, um, you know, are very popular, it's nice to be able to reproduce um, those good sellers so that you can make more of them and sell more of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a, it's a really simple technique, but it gives you something that's a little different than uh, just blobs of color everywhere. Uh, it has a bit of a geometric kind of feel to it. And uh, again, it's just using the edge of the, the applicator to get these uh, rod shapes in there and you know you can make it as heavy as you want or as sparse as you want with just uh, putting them in there and there you go so real quick tutorial and uh, have a good one